Hey guys, Spirit of the Lie here. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Italian's unique team unit, the Condottiero. This unit's had an eventful journey, at one point being considered much too strong, then being heavily nerfed, and then improved again in Definitive Edition. Since then, I haven't really heard complaints one way or the other, so presumably it's pretty well balanced for what it's intended to do as an officially anti-anti-infantry infantry, or to put it more simply, an anti-gunpowder infantry. Of course, Italians are a relatively unpopular civilization, and not necessarily one pushed toward infantry in the first place. So the real interesting question for me is whether condottieri are worth making when you're an ally of Italians. We'll start by looking at the unit compared to generic champions, and which types of matchups you might prefer one unit over the other, and then we'll finish up with some discussion about civilizations with either very good bonuses benefiting their condottieri, or civilizations for whom the unit can make up for what they otherwise lack in infantry options. To start with their stats, side by side with the champion, the Condottiero looks a little more robust, with 10 more HP and 1 extra melee armor, though notice the champion has 3 more attack. That's slightly misleading, as the Condottiero attacks about 5% faster, so it's not quite as big of a difference as it seems at first. In fact, the units at a glance are remarkably similar, and notice they both end with the same 5 pierce armor, though the Condottiero here is benefiting from a unique tech, with its own extra cost to consider. That tech gives both this unit as well as their Genoese crossbows some extra armor, so they are slightly better than a generic Condottiero for another civilization. Looking at their individual costs though is where things start to diverge. The Condottiero is 50 food and 35 gold, while the Champion is 60 food and 20 gold, though that can potentially be brought down a bit with supplies, which Italians have access to. That means the Champion is potentially costing 25% fewer resources, but critically about half the gold per unit. Going a bit deeper into some hidden stats, they have a similar creation time at the barracks, though technically the Condottiero is created about 2.5 seconds faster after conscription. The Condottiero also moves faster, actually by quite a bit. In fact, you can see they're almost as fast as elite eagle warriors. Moving on to their hidden attack bonuses, this is where the Condottiero's anti-gunpowder reputation partly comes from. They have plus 10 attack against all gunpowder units, which actually includes quite a few units these days, including hand cannoneers. The champion's bonus damage, on the other hand, is actually specialized toward eagle warriors, and we'll check later if Condottieri are even a good counter to eagles at all. Both of these units also have a small bonus against buildings as well, and especially after picking up arson, both are pretty great at shredding buildings, with champions being technically a bit better. In addition to their attack bonus differences, there's also some interesting hidden things going on with their armor as well. The Condottiero actually resists 10 anti-infantry bonus damage, which fully negates the hand cannoneer's bonus, and of course that is the first unit that probably comes to mind. Theoretically, this should affect other anti-infantry units, and a few years ago it did work that way, but now the Slinger, Plumed Archer, Jaguar Warrior, and Cataphract have a specific extra bonus against Condottieri added in to restore their usual bonus. In practice, that just means the hand cannoneer and the cannon galleon are the only units whose damage they resist. For a bit of perspective, in the end, the Elite Plumed Archer and Hand Cannoneer are roughly as effective against Condottieri at a distance, whereas with regular champions, the Hand Cannoneer is very effective, here bringing one down several seconds faster. As for upgrades, it's about what you'd expect, being improved with Arson, Squires, Infantry Blacksmith upgrades, Pavis for more armor, and for Italian allies, most infantry-focused techs you can think of, like Garland Wars and Drusina, affect them as well. Note that supplies does not affect the Condottiero, though. Of course, probably their biggest advantage over the Swordsman line is that the Condottiero doesn't need a series of upgrades, and comes out of the box in Imperial Age ready to go, which is especially nice considering Italians have cheaper advancing. Altogether, it's about 1400 resources saved, and 4 minutes and 20 seconds of research time that you can bypass. This is the Condottiero's biggest advantage in my opinion, which is an instant Imperial Age unit roughly on par with the champion's stats, but without the upfront investment. Bypassing the champion's upgrade cost, assuming you start it from scratch, is the equivalent of about 22 Condottieri, judging by total resources, and also skips the awkward 4 minute transition to champion from scratch, where you might need to be throwing long swords and two handed swordsmen into battles out of desperation, getting terrible value out of those units until the final upgrades come in. That said, we know the champion's lower cost is eventually going to lead to better value against most units, but how much better does it perform? Let's take a look at some common matchups to find out, which should give us an idea of when it's worth the extra initial investment. First off, in a simple head-to-head -head with equal numbers, Condottieri typically have a slight edge. Both units defeat the other in 7 hits, but remember Condottieri both attack and move faster, helping them navigate the battlefield. Of course, champions are a bit cheaper overall, and making a resource balance fight without supplies, sometimes it goes one way, sometimes the other. 
I wouldn't say there's a clear winner here unless you want to put some extra emphasis on gold. Doing it again, but this time factoring in the lower cost with supplies, in a balanced fight the champions win this all day, while again costing less gold. The point is, supplies is a very useful tech if you're planning to spam champions, and if your civilization is missing supplies, then Condottieri automatically become a much more attractive alternative. Moving on, another really important role for the champion is as a one-stop counter to trash units. The idea is that the champion is a reasonable counter to the goldless trash units, assuming your opponent has run out of gold but you still have a bit left. Or at reasonably high market prices, you could also sell food and wood at the market to generate the gold you need to make them. The thing is though, while the Condottiero does similarly well against Halberdiers and actually better against Skirmishers and Hazar with equal numbers, their nearly double gold cost makes them significantly worse in that anti-trash role. Against Hazars, for example, while Condottieri end up performing noticeably better than Champions, when you actually look at their losses, the Condottieri came out worse from a gold perspective. Another role that Champions of course do better is against Eagles. The Champion is the obvious choice thanks to large bonus damage, but it turns out the Condottiero is not that bad on its own, ending with about half of its HP 1 on 1 against an Inca Elite Eagle Warrior. As we saw already, it's pretty quick on its feet as well, so I don't think it's a terrible response to eagles by any means, and especially gold-wise, it's actually a reasonably good trade. At the same time, even in early Imperial Age with leftover Castle Age troops, it turns out you get better results sticking with the Longsword than immediately switching to Kano Tiro, thanks to the Longsword's extra bonus damage. The point is, either unit works, and they just have a trade-off of greater attack bonus against faster speed. So those are a couple of roles where the champion is arguably still better, but what about the Conotiero's specialty? To start with hand cannoneers, it turns out negating their bonus damage leads to Conotieri taking almost twice as many hits. When you then add in their attack bonus against gunpowder and put the two units side by side, you can see it's not even close. This is of course the role they're intended to play, and it's one they're very good at filling. In a practical situation, it's easy to imagine where you'd be creating pikes as Italians against cavalry and then are facing hand cannoneers as a counter to your spear units. In that situation, Condottieri would be a perfect transition, given you probably already have some infantry upgrades in the barracks. Contrast that easy transition with a tech switch into elite skirmishers, which if you're trying to start from scratch, requires a fair amount of time and investment. Now with that said, one unit I think you have to be wary of is Janissaries. Yes, they are gunpowder units, but unlike the hand cannoneer, they don't deal bonus damage against infantry, so the Condottiero's hidden armor doesn't give them any extra resistance. In fact, in this example head-to-head, -head, they don't even end up looking that much better than a regular champion, despite their extra attack bonus and speed. Against a mass of Janissaries, especially with micro and some tactics, Condottieri don't necessarily come out on top with equal numbers. I'm not saying to never make them as a counter to Janissaries, but just that it isn't the slam dunk that it is against hand cannoneers. A similar idea also applies to Arbalesters. Fully upgraded Italian Condottieri take two more shots than a champion, but again you have to be careful charging them into a big mass of archers. Even with their extra HP and speed, they're still infantry with low base pierce armor. In fact, I think Arbalesters are among the better ways to counter them, along with siege or tanky units that can beat them with raw stats. Now this has all been a comparison to a generic or Italian champion, but now let's talk about some civilizations who get some extra benefit or incentive to use them. Naturally, you probably think of the big infantry civilizations, who compared to generic condo tieros are getting penthouse tieros. Goths of course have their large discount and creation speed boost, Japanese attack faster, Vikings have more HP as well as more damage against cavalry, making them a very well-rounded unit. Celts also move faster on top of the Condottieri's already very fast speed, making them actually faster than a Paladin. Teutons, of course, also give extra melee armor to their Condottieri, Malians give extra pierce armor, making them that much better against hand cannoneers and Janissaries. Sicilians then take less bonus damage, and of course Slavs gain trample damage with Druzhna. Pretty much any strong late game infantry civilization will automatically have extra strong Condottieri, and you could be tempted to skip the long line of champion upgrades for something comparably strong right off the bat. A couple to note though are the Malay and Bulgarians, whose unique techs affect the militia line specifically, and considering both civilizations are also lacking the champion upgrade, there's less initial investment, making the Condottiero less appealing in contrast. Now on the other hand, there's also a few civilizations that benefit from an Italian ally not because they have good champions with an infantry bonus, but specifically because they don't. Any of Tatars, Ethiopians, Mayans, Huns, Gurjars, and Khmer for balance reasons don't have the champion, and some are missing supplies on top of that as well. So having an Italian ally actually gives them a way to get something functionally similar to the champion plugging that hole in their tech tree. 
Of course, arguably the biggest beneficiary is the Persians, who don't even have two-handed swordsmen. Whether it's against eagle warriors or trash units in general, Persians lacking anything beyond long swordsmen gives them a tech tree gap, where assuming you have the gold, they now have a unit that can play the champion's role, while also being resistant to gunpowder. Admittedly, that can be tricky to think of in the heat of a game, where you may not be considering your team's civilizations and options. But personally, I see more upside to having an Italian ally not for infantry civs with great bonuses, but actually more for the civilizations who have the worst champion lines. Those are just my thoughts though, and hopefully gave you some ideas or inspiration for how you might use the Condo Tiero. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.